Alrighty, bam, welcome back to Talking Options. So what I wanna talk about today is specifically corn futures. Um, and I've been talking about corn a lot lately because of course I trade seasonalities. That's what we talk about talking options. Reason why we love seasonalities is when you start trading commodities, now you get to step into that seasonal trend. And what do we mean by the seasonal trend? We can kind of expect the same thing to happen at the same time every year. Of course, you have to give economic news and fundamentals a little leeway because that of course will change the trend but overall when you're dealing with commodities especially like corn soybean really what you're focused on is you're focused on those farmers you're focused on the crop and that is very good because now you can pinpoint where your news is coming from and what you need to focus on and being that um you can look at 15 year charts with corn you can see that it typically does the same thing at least for the last five years now this year is very interesting and it's because we saw a lot of volatility right around june time i'm going to pull up the chart so we could talk about it right now you're looking at corn um but this is a 15 minute chart i actually want to first bring it all the way to let's customize this list and we're going to actually add a time frame and I'm going to do 10 years and I want to see the weeks. So we're going to add that to it. Let's see. Okay, there we have it here. So right now you're looking at since 2010 to 2019, this is a volatility that we saw in corn. So of course, we see some crazy stuff happening right around um, 2010 all the way to 2013. But what I really want to focus in on is when you see the trend from 2014 to 2019, look at that. It's, it's nearly predictable. And if you were to zoom in, to this particular time, what you'll see is that it's happening right around the same time. Around July, what do we see? We see this drop. Around July, around, you see what I'm saying? And so where are we right now? We're in July. And so what are we expecting? We're expecting a bearish trend. This is what I'm talking about. Seasonals makes me so excited because when you see charts like this, it's almost like, is this free money? Or are they playing with me? Now, of course, there's some different things to uh, keep in mind. This is a weekly chart. So there is a lot of movement. There is a lot of buying power that would be needed to hold a trade like this, especially when you're talking about doing a swing trade or a position trade. But this should just give you an example um, of what you can expect. Even for day traders, I would say that you can get in on this trade. And the way that you do that is you can do covered calls and where you are taking profit and then getting back in the trade and you're monitoring it like that. So taking a look at corn again, we've seen some volatility in the underlying. Um, of course, right now, we're right around that July season looking at a weekly chart. So what are we going to expect? Are we going to see a down move? Well, I will say that a lot of farmers, um, they're saying that it's possible. And the reason being is because now corn, we're starting to see the, the crop a lot more now. See, what happened in June, taking a look at this article here, is that there was a really slow time for crop production, specifically with corn. And it was due to the bad weather that we had, especially on the West Coast, where there's a lot of production with it. And because of that, um, we saw that volatility in the underlying and crop uh, corn prices went up. Well, now we're probably going to expect to see a little bit more of a downtrend in the prices because now production is starting to pick up a little bit. And in this article here, it says that summer is helping to shape up the crop and grow out of this wet funk. So of course, prices are sagging. Corn is at risk of a head and shoulder top. And now we're on the right shoulder. So it could become a sell on technical charts quite quickly unless some supportive news can come along quickly. And what that means, of course, is we have to keep our eye to the skies to see what the weather is going to be like. And that's when we would probably see a change in that direction for corn. So that would be the one thing that would probably keep corn going up is if we had some bad weather in that area. But for now, it seems like Overall, we're drying out. The weather in the West Coast is kind of getting a little bit more decent. And so for that reason, we're hoping that crop production is going to start to pick up. In this article, you can see this is farmprogress.com. They're saying that crops look decent, but are still two weeks behind. Of course, we're still early in this trend. When you go back to the charts, you're seeing that this starts right around July. So I'm trying to catch this 
right around the beginning of it. But who knows? Again, weather can happen. There's different fundamental news that can affect this. However, you're seeing a consistent trend. And that's what I wanted to show you guys, because I know sometimes, you know, hearing it and seeing it are two different things. But you're seeing here since about 2014, you can expect a down move. Now, how much is it going to move? That's a different question. That's a different story. And it depends on the year. But what I'm showing you here is will we see a downtrend in corn? That's what we're really waiting on. The charts, the technicals say that we can probably expect that based on the seasonality, based on the seasonal trend. Now we just have to keep our eyes to the sky, to the weather. And then of course, um, stay in tune with farming, economic news, as well as with the farmers. So I'll be doing a bearish trade on this. Um, if you're interested in, see, in you know finding out what I would do with this trade, let me see, jumping this down to a 30 minute chart. Okay, so you could see this is the this is what you would see when you step back into the daily trend is you're gonna see, of course, that volatility. And so one thing to keep in mind with options, of course, is this is based on your buying power and how many contracts you're buying. So let's say, for example, I'm seeing corn now, Samantha, and I'm thinking about doing a bearish trade. Well, of course, you have credit spreads that you can do um, and put a bearish perspective on that credit spread and you can do diagonal trades you can also do butterflies broken wing butterflies if you want to be directional as well or you can also do a neutral trade but um there's a lot of different strategies that you can do with this particular trade again what you can do if you're trying to do on a day level is i would suggest doing something that's a little bit more covered because while we can expect to see that over july and august well, there may be some volatility and there may be some up movement as well. So you don't want to do a naked position on this, especially if, you know, you have a smaller account. But what you will want to do is figure out how can I still make money on this trade, especially if you want to be directional and still benefit from the seasonal trend. So hopefully that explained a little bit to you about corn. Um, there's also a lot of volatility happening with soybean. I may do a video on that. But until next time, make sure you talk in options, guys. I'll see you later.